everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Whole Bucket. I'm Cheryl. Nice to see you. Hi. Um, so it's exciting. This is December's Your Creative Studio box. I don't know why it says postage due and all this stuff. Just ignore that because it came just fine and I didn't have to pay any postage and whatever. So I'm going to open this up with you. And we're going to check this out and see what's in the December Your Creative Studio box together. Let's see. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm excited and I'm nervous. Sometimes I love these and sometimes they're just not for me. And I just, I am so nervous. Okay, so this one looks like it's going to be not for me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um and it's just a guess. It, I might be wrong, but these cards usually have some kind of clue about what's in there, and this has a sewing machine, and I'm not all about the people in my books, and the fashion is, no, and sewing is not my cup of tea, but, I mean, this old school sewing machine is cool looking, and there's always a variety in here, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything. I could be just being pessimistic today, so let's set the card aside. And see what's in here. I love using this paper, so I am a little careful with it. Rawr. It's just got pretty pictures on it, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to do this. There we go. There we go. Your Creative Studio. Well, let's see what's in the Your Creative Studio box for December. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna pick things up in order. What does this say? Masking tape mini. Okay, so this must be a washi tape. This must be a washi tape. It is a washi tape. And what the heck is that? Um, let me see if I can find the start. I can. Let's see if we can see what this is. Um, I don't have autofocus on. And I can't see because my eyes are not working properly. Oh, okay. It's just a little, um, it's just a, like a garland of flowers, little purple flowers. That's, it's very pretty. It's very pretty, but it's very tiny. Um, but it would add a lovely little, um, it would add a lovely little what? It would add a lovely little accent to stuff. This is a stamp, and it looks like it's that sewing machine that's on the card. It is that sewing machine that's on the card. So, or at least it's one like it. It's similar. It doesn't look exactly the same. So we'll try this out later and see what it actually looks like. So we got some washi and we have a sewing machine stamp. Looks like we have a crochet doily. These are always fun. I have an aunt who makes them and has made me tons. And I use them all up in my journals for just all kinds of stuff. This one's really thick. Um, and really nice. It's a, make a lovely coaster. I wonder if I should make it a coaster for my teapot. Here. It's a coaster for my teapot. <laughs> um, this is a cute card too. I, I would be, I would use the card as well. Let's just put that up there. We don't need the card. Oh my gosh, here's a charm. This is so cute. And I see something else I'm going to like a lot. You see that scissors in there? I've always wanted one and I've never bought myself one. Now I get one. Look at this charm. Again, I don't have autofocus on, so I don't know how close I can get, but well, that's close enough. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's a little sewing machine charm. That's so cute. So, so far, this is not my cup of tea as theme goes, as far as theme goes, but I am inspired by the pieces that I'm getting, so I might find that I like this more than I thought I would, right? 
we have um, thread and needle and a tape measure stamp and a bobbin stamp. That's kind of a cool set. Put that with the sewing machine. We'll try out the stamps at the end of the video here. Looks like maybe another one. Nope, a washi. Here's another washi tape. Let's take a look at what this one is. I always love these little paper envelopes. They're so nice. Um, let's see what we have here. Looks like sewing theme still. Maybe. I'm seeing buttons, I think. Let me find the edge. Where's the edge of the tape? Wait, oh, other way. There we go. There we go, okay. Okay, okay, what do we got? We have thread and bobbin and scissors and curves and buttons and a threader. Cool. Okay. So this is just more that goes with the theme. You know, I don't, it's, I don't, I said this isn't my cup of tea and it's true. It's not, but I'm liking the stuff. So I'm wondering if, um, if there's actually another set that I felt the same way about actually m more extremely. I didn't, I really didn't like the, um, the recipe one that set was just not for me at all I didn't like the colors the designs nothing but then I found some paper scrapbook paper that matched it and it super inspired me so I think sometimes I, I I judge too much and then I relax my brain and then I feel better about the stuff and I start to you know form some ideas this is so cool guys this is so cool this is nice weight, nice quality. It's a pretty design with birds and feathers and flowers and such. And ah, I've always wanted one of these fancy little scissorses. And now I have one. And now I have one. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so this looks like checklist. This looks like it's going to be little labels. And it looks like the whole thing is little labels. Let's get up. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know if that's going to show up in the video or not, but my computer just flashed. I may be having issues. I don't know if that's true. I hope it's not true. <laughs> it's a little too late. If it is, I'm in the middle of this gosh darn thing. Um. Okay, so... Oh, maybe I won't cut that. I'll just slide it off the end. So, let's see if it's all the same. It is not. So, this one says checklist, stars, memo, title. I don't know what all that means. Date, time. That's an awful little box for remarks. <laughs> maybe this is, I don't know. I don't know. So, it's got a chunk of those. Let's see where that ends. Wow, there's a lot of those. And then, okay, so that many. Oh, it, yeah, I could have seen that from the top. <laughs> Silly girl. Then it's got a section of days of the week. Let's see how far that one goes. Right here. Right, 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 right here. And then it's got list for date and one through nine. Then it has at least one more section. I think probably, yeah, probably just this one, a to-do list. I don't know if I'll keep the to-do list, but this little piece of paper I certainly would use and put on the back of journaling tags and that sort of thing and just cover up the to-do list with some other sentiment, maybe. I don't want it to be a specific to-do list. If I put it in a journal, I want people to decide what to do with their list, right? Stamp sticker set. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, these are interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen these before in here. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. So they're nice stickers, but they're that shiny background, and I don't care for that. But they're nice weight. And there's some cool pictures. I like the trunk and the carriage. I like the windmill, the air balloon. Let's see what else we got. We got some postage stuff. Those are always fun. You can use those all kinds of places. I don't like the shiny though. Um, I'll have to try to use some. Um, let's see if it works. Let's see if I can find my. No, of course I can't. I've buried it. I was gonna see if I could find my um sandpaper and see what it if it if I can sand it without taking the picture off. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So I'll be testing that. I don't know about these signs. I don't usually use these. We'll see. Sometimes I think of stuff to do with them though. Oh, we have some facing the other direction. Cities. I'm not likely to use those, but I could use love st a love sticker and a gramophone sticker. Probably not the cameras. Airmail. I feel good. I feel good. I knew that I would. So there's some stuff in there I would use. I would probably find places to use most of these. I like animals. Um, uh, I don't know about those. I don't know about those. You know, that's the end. The end. So, pages of cool stickers. We'll see if I will or won't use those because they're shiny. I'm going to see if I can take the edge of the shiny off without ruining the pictures. Here is the Your Creative Studio sticker sheet. And I love their stickers. They are matte transparent backgrounds and I just love these and I wish I wish I could find a place to make these because I have some designs that I would love to make into matte stickers but so I said I was kind of inspired by the sewing stuff even though it's not really my cup of tea I'm inspired by um some design ideas that are popping into my head and these stickers um, will go fabulously in a sewing journal. So I think I'm going to put together a vintage sewing journal just because I have all this stuff now and look how cool these stickers are. They are terribly inspiring. All right, what else do we have here? We got a few more things to go through and then we'll try out the stamps. Their stamps are always so good. I have no doubt that these will be too, um, but we'll get to see what the image is a little better. Oh, goodness. Okay, so these are sticker paper. This feels like sticker paper. Kind of cool. So we can do some master board making probably with this. Um, so if I'm going to do a sewing, a vintage sewing, journal um this is i like the i like the um it's not a mannequin a dress form is this a dress form i like this anyway i don't like putting people in my journals but this is kind of cool and i like how it's got the flower design in it not the whatever you know the way they usually look that's kind of nice and it's got the fancy scissors in there. This is a very well coordinated box for sure. For sure. Well coordinated, Amanda. Is it Amanda? I think it's Amanda. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so the sticker paper is really good. It's a nice weight. I like the colors. I like that all of the stuff in this box is so coordinated. All right. So I think that's 
a testament to a really good box from your creative studio because because I admitted right off the bat that sewing is not my cup of tea, right? But it's inspiring me to do something that I might not ordinarily do, which is fabulous. And it's so well coordinated that I can really envision what I can do with this stuff. So I'm liking that a lot. All right, so this last package, these, this is a cardstock. Well, it's a light cardstock, but, you know, not the lightest. Um, but it's a it's lovely cardstock, and it looks like it matches. It definitely matches the sticker papers over here. Okay, and then there's a bigger size. Let's see what these are. These are also a cardstock feels like the same weight and I don't know how to tell weights so I don't know how to tell you what it is but it's not it's not super heavy right but it's um it's not super light either that's not helpful <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry it's a nice weight three of each of these I think the smaller ones were two of each Two, three, yep, three of each of the bigger ones. This one's upside down. So yeah, I'm a little surprised that I like as much as I like in this box. Um, because it wouldn't normally be me. Excellent job on this one. So I'm going to pause the video for just a second, gather some things, and then we're going to check out the stamps and see what we got. Okay, sorry for the jolting change that I think has just occurred. Um, <clears throat> so I set up to do the stamping so we could see some detail in the stuff, and I got close to my desk with the camera. So we can see a little bit about how that um, little floral design goes. And there is the larger, fatter washi tape. And let's give these puppies a try. These are usually such good stamps with lots of detail. So we'll see. My stamping skills are not that great, though. Um... I often make a mess of things and I never know if I'm supposed to be on a soft background or a firm background and these say they're clean stamps so I have a stamping block but they're actually they don't cling I don't understand I don't understand <laughs> in any case here we go I think you're supposed to take the red part off if you want it to cling all right, I think I got it everywhere. Let's see what we get. Lovely, that's lovely. Now let's see if I have enough ink to do it twice. It looks like I had too much ink over here you should, and up here too, and you should really do a test stamp, shouldn't you? Do a test stamp and then the real thing. But I get nervous that I don't have enough ink then. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, not enough, okay. All right, well, you know, I'm learning stuff. I'm learning stuff. So now let's try the little ones. Whoops. Let's try the needle and thread. Hear my squeaky chair? Try the needle and thread. Let's try the tape measure at the same time. Oh, it's sticking to my... Let go. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, we got the needle and thread. Now we got the tape measure. Put a little pressure there, and now let's get the bobbin. Bobbin. The bobbin is also sticking. I may have put a little bit too much ink in my ink pad. That might be a thing. Oh, look at the detail on the tape measure. You can even see the little numbers. I like that. And the bobbin. 
And you know what? It looks like a bobbin. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. So I'm going to try the sewing machine one more time. Let's scoot the paper up a little like that because I think I put too much ink on and then obviously I used it all up. I'm just trying to get the middle here so I'm tipping my ink a little. Let's see if I can get a better image. I like it though. I like that I like the hand, the hand crank. Oh my gosh, what a bother that must have been. And then I think after the hand crank was the foot pedal, right? Those foot pedals are cool. Oh, nope, I did not do better. I did kind of better and kind of worse at the same time. I'm gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna quit. We're gonna call it good. We're gonna call this a well curated box for sure because it is inspiring and well coordinated. You know what, here, let's try the block. What if I push with the block instead of my hands? Off screen, I will now, now test this on a firmer background and see if it's the puppy pad that's maybe doing some damage. Oh, that's not bad. Looks like I missed pushing over here and up here, but nice detail in the sewing machine. All right, that is December's Your Creative Studio Box. Thank you for watching, and I hope you are also inspired to go out and create things. See you next time.